Hey guys, what's up? Um, I guess it's finally time to update you guys on Did I break my record at Spear of Halloween this year? 2019 was $325 Probably more Because <laughs> the 2019 model of the Ghostbusters Proton was $75. The reason I'm saying 2019 model, because my friend, when I saw this, I was speechless. Like, at first I thought, Spear of Halloween, it's got to be, it has to be Spear of Halloween. But then when I took a close look at it, I'm like, no, 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 this couldn't be Spear of Halloween. No, no, no. It looks nothing like mine. Like, he has full control of the lights of his proton pack there's more detail it actually looks like it like my model of it from 2019 you can't control the lights and they're super fast they all light up at the same time and there's no sound like i think his makes sounds other than that um that one is a cool model and um I'm pretty sure that one was more expensive. Okay, anyway. <sighs> anyway, 2019, the Proton Pack was 75. The Ghost Trap was 50. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, I kind of had to remind them on the, um, rule, on the recording rules. Because... This house, unfortunately, you can hear everything from this room. Well, technically every room. You can hear it from my, any other room. And then I was reminding them, like, about don't curse, don't fight, and don't talk about um, conversations about your personal life. Because this phone, uh, our recordings practically capture everything. And that's why I don't have my New Year's um, Eve videos. My New Year's party of... 2022 on youtube because that was just really we had fun dancing to music and all that it's just um there was a lot of personal conversation personal conversations got anyway enough of that 2019 pull time pack was 75 ghost trap 50 bucks eh, kind of broke it and for the replacement of that, which is a Target version, was like 20, 20 bucks, I think. And the walkie talkie, $25. Um, costume, about 50 Because I got a plus size extra large. I didn't know my size. It's been years since I actually bought one. So yeah, it's big enough to actually wear as a pajamas. Um... I couldn't find the, I couldn't get the utility belt when I had the chance. So, yeah, didn't get that. So, not on the list. And, um, the goggles, which were like 20 bucks as well. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, I also got Pennywise press on nails that, that year. So, that was like, 12 13 bucks and then i got uh another pack and i also got like red bloody ones which were five bucks i got a bunch of stuff that year because i went there like three times august september october it did come to like 325 and who knows what else because i also got a bunch of candy like these uh, but this is this year, so it's just an example. Like, I got a bunch of them that year. Like, Pennywise, Mike Myers, J Jason. I just didn't get a chunky one yet, <laughs> unfortunately. But I definitely got a lot of jaws, so <laughs> that's for sure. Anyway, on with this year's um shopping of... Spare of Halloween, unfortunately, I did not break the record, but we're still going to tally up how much I spent this year. But it wasn't as disappointing as last year. 
All right, we gotta start with the first one. Uh, oh, Spencer's. <gasps> Why do I have a Spencer's one? Well, you're gonna find out soon. Oh, uh, see, which one is the first one? That's Easton. Looking for Hextown. There it is. I should have technically spent more at Hackerstown because they had a it on display. Uh, that one was very interesting and I should have gotten more stuff there. But I really was in the mood for um, Killer Clowns. Which, honestly, you guys know I got this. I'm not going to turn it on because it flashes. I would probably be, my mind would probably be screwed up throughout this whole video if I did turn it on. Because, honestly, that does, that's extremely bright. Even in the dog, like, in the dog, it's ex- Woosh! Let's see. Hackettstown. I got rock candy. Because, well, technically, we went fit all the way to Hackettstown for the popcorn run. That was, like, my number one thing. But it wasn't there, so I had to get rock candy for my siblings so they didn't feel left out. And, let's see. And I got this, which, um... Which was 15 bucks. Um, this, it's like a cassette, which obviously you could tell, but it's not like the movie. Like, there's no VHS in here. It's like a mystery pack, you know, like those little baggies and like mystery keychain or mystery like whatever, like you see everywhere now, a bunch of themes. Well, this is like a Spear of Halloween's version of a mystery pack. And it like comes with six items, like there's a patch, a button, a decor. You know, like a sticker and a lanyard. Except there's like two decals. I'm just gonna say stickers. And well, the box is cool. I, I really think it's cool, especially the fact that I never seen the the box of the movie before. I only seen the DVD. Like it's even like Jessica thought it was an actual tape because. Instead of, like, like I said, the little baggies for the mystery things, or the little container balls, it looks like the real cassette tape, which, I'm sorry I never did a um, box opening for this, <laughs> excitement can get to me, but, you know, it's still in here, so, you kind of see it as opening right now. Oh, uh, here's the lanyard. Oops. It's, I know, it's kind of dark in here. I hate the lighting at night. It's what this looks like. And it comes with like this. Oh my god, I love the purse and the backpack there. The man backpacks, it's Bear of Halloween this year, are oh, expensive. They're like up to 80 bucks. And here's the pin, which is the fun house. If you can see that. I don't know, you will probably be seeing me wear it one day. I need to get like a replacement vest. Seriously, I really need to get a replacement. Oh, there's another pin. The ice cream truck. Jojo, Jojo's ice cream truck, and here's the patch, the Killer Clowns from Outer Space logo. And the stickers, which I am not opening, so sorry if you can't see it. One of them is the logo, and the other is the Big Top Burger. Honestly, you should watch this movie if you hadn't seen it. I wear my shirt and I always get compliments of, the, of people saying that they've seen the movie, it's the best, or them saying that it terrifies them. But it's mainly the adults that say that. I don't think there's anyone my age who has seen it around here. 
but if y'all if you're someone who's seen it you should give a like uh, you should give a comment and where you're from like you know like state so obviously i don't feel alone about it i don't know i think i'm the only one in town who's seen it and like as an obsession <laughs> but well you know what i mean we'll watch it multiple times <laughs> Well, that's that. Um, not all of it from August. This is just August. Um, I got to kill clones from Outer Space keychains. Another mystery thing. There's um, that's all. And oh my god, I was so excited. I don't know if I did an opening for these keychains. If I didn't. I should have because I was jumping like crazy for this one. I tried to get the slash trigger. It was one of the um, mystery like rare ones. I I've been trying to get this since um I started watching Killer Clowns and started going to Spear of Halloween. I've been trying to get JoJo's ice cream truck, so yeah. So now I have five of the Kill Clown keychains. That's all the JoJo ice cream truck. Um, Shorty's bat. Got Spiky, who was basically my second keychain. And the Connie Kitty yarn, which was my first. Those were from my first trip. Which, um, that led to $75. Originally, it was, um, let's see, $74 for, you know, donated. On that day, I, I bought a bracelet that I know. I always get bracelets when I go there. And this is the one that um, Liz had it to replace my cup because she broke the Pennywise one that I got as a gift from Spencer's. Um, this is the one she got for me. Not as great as my first one, but at least she got it. She too donated, but didn't get a bracelet. I tried to, I tried to get her, I tried to call her, but. At least I got a bracelet for my my second trip. It was my third purchase, but technically it was my second trip. As you can see, it's longer. But this was a odd trip. Um, I thought I was gonna go crazy um with the shopping, but I. Second weekend, I actually thought I was going to get a costume too, like, I was so hooked up, hooked up on getting a horror character costume, I was so hooked up on it, I was like, in the horror character section, standing there, there was even a chance for me to get the popcorn gun, Seriously, there was a chance it was like literally sitting right there in front of me. And I didn't. It was so weird of me to just walk away from horror movie stuff. It was so weird. And the fact of this receipt price is so weird too. Especially that it was my, like, second trip. And unfortunately, my final trip of the year. Because, you know, it's November now. Okay, um. Well, there's this. I had to get something with the logo on it. Because, you know, the, like, limited edition of the year. Until at least next year when they get something else that's limited edition with their store logo. 
I had to get it. And this time I got this theme of a candy. Unlike all my Pennywises and Jaws, I didn't get a Chucky one yet. Maybe next year I'll get a Chucky. And I got press on nails. Hocus Pocus. I couldn't find the ones, the like the red bloody ones from, that I got from last year. I was really hoping to because I wanted to wear the ones I still have this year and not worry about um finding new ones until next year, but unfortunately I couldn't find any, so now I have to worry. <laughs> As for my, um, stuff, my decor for my door, that was another odd, that was another odd and awkward moment as well, because I thought I was going to go crazy on that, but this is all I got. Like, I thought I was going to go straight for, like, the Jason painting canvas that I saw in Hackenstown, because it was right there, along with all of these amazing things that Hackenstown didn't have. And, but for some reason, I was not, I was just not there. <laughs> like, where are you, Allison? This is your big spending day, where are you? But, I'm like, this... There's this one thing that's one more left, and you don't have something so unique in your room. So, I decided to get this. Which is like 80 bucks. Universal Studios Monsters. Uh, please don't ask me about what the monsters are. Um... Um, that's why I called it unique and don't have in my room yet, cause, um, yeah, I don't really know all the monsters here. Unless you include Frankenstein and Dracula, I'm guessing Werewolf, um, yeah, embarrassing, isn't it? <laughs> and... But I was definitely drawn towards the jewelry and the makeup section. Um, Joker necklace. Uh, I have a feeling that this was not the best purchase. Because it's kind of like tight. Although technically choker necklaces are. But it just, it just doesn't go like this. It just dangles down. I do like these. They're like cuff earrings. They're definitely better than my Spencer earrings. Well, I mean, my Spencer earrings have great design. It's just the back of the cuff part. It's painful. I'll get to that soon. Oh my god. These makeup stampers. So worth it. They're definitely worth the 13 bucks. If you ever come across them. Whether if it's beer upon a ween or wherever, you need to buy them. Like they are so worth it, and you will look amazing if you add glitter, like body glitter, to them. It's definitely worth it. And if you have trouble washing it off, with just like soap and water, just use like makeup wipe or something. Either than that, these stamp makeup stamps are very easy to use very easy to wash off it's just the body glitter <laughs> that's um not easy <laughs> to get off unless you go into the shower and literally <laughs> i don't know that these were so worth it i'm wearing them like all the time and i'm definitely going to be wearing them throughout the whole month this month the price of this one in total was eighty six thirty, plus tax, which is ninety one. This I also got the bracelet as well. <laughs> so, time to do the math. 
I'm pretty sure I didn't break the record, but let's find out anyway, folks. See. See, like, 91.75 makes 166. One piece, one sixty six, thirteen, one seventy nine. It's definitely more than last year. The one seventy six is half of twenty nineteen. So I was practically halfway there to what twenty nineteen's record was, but not. Not the goal of one and I wanted to break this year, which was 400, so. And it was definitely uh, awkward. It was definitely awkward because I wanted to go in all the sections. Like, horror sections, the costume sections, the decor, the makeup, the jewelry, the nails, definitely. Because I wanted press-on nails to last throughout the whole year for every mood I was in, so yeah. Uh, but I definitely broke a record for Spencer's. I always forget that during hun during October, I like to go to Spencer's. At least a once a year trip to Spencer's. This is gonna be hard, hard to do the math because um, the fact that I went 10 bucks overboard my sister had to add it to her um her bill so um geez. well let's just say um let's just say that the earrings the jewelry was buy two get two free i knew that but then eventually I started forgetting that and thought it was buy four get four free. Because that's usually what Claire's does. And I guess I forgot for a moment. And I just like, okay, let me match them up. Because I just started matching them up. And got way too carried away. Let's see. Yeah, um. That's going to be hard to do the math on here, but I remember it coming out to be $86. So that is definitely a record-breaking spend at Spencer's. Because at Spencer's, I usually just spend up to like 18 20 bucks, but that is definitely a record-breaking... Oops, I forgot this keychain that I bought. Another limited edition logo. Well, back to Spencer's. Well, okay. Well, first off, I was trying to match things. But I definitely got this. A dragon cuff. It's to replace the my first cuff earring that I got a long time ago. Which broke unintentionally. Because I didn't know what ear cuff was. So that's my dragon. Uh, when I was trying to show which one was better, this or my snake one. It was so hard for everybody to decide which one was better. Because they're like two different designs. And well, yeah, they were like two different designs. And they were very great designs. So that's my dragon. It's a left ear one. If there was both a left one and a right one, I would have bought them both. Okay, here's the snake one. Now I was talking about that everybody had trouble deciding which one was better because they have different designs. Like they're different like earring metal quality. And, and I wore this one. Everybody kept thinking that the snake was literally through my ear because you know how This is the front and this is like the back For this I 
found like another like snake pair so that um so I can like do like um a cuff and this which is actually pretty cool not only because they're like the same color or the or the same like like style of earring but it's actually type of it's actually pretty cool like I did it a few times already so those are my snakes that I decided to match and um I, I don't know I went a little rock like now like rock and roll music I'm talking about like rocks and gems with the moons on this one ah uh, please don't ask me what kind of rock it is I keep forgetting see how pretty they are and I try to match this one this one has like a pink or like a pink rock it's a butterfly and stars I try to match this one with this bracelet this is also like a thesic star works like it's purple and i try to match these together i think the one besides the snake ones that i matched the most of is my naruto ones my naruto pairs the only thing I find most annoying about these earrings is whoever made them. Like, they did not pay attention to the way they made them. If you can, like, tell the difference. See the difference? I actually had to fix one of them because it was backwards. But unfortunately, I can't fix this other mistake that is so noticeable and irritating to my ear hole but i definitely got this to match it it's so cool and unaware that i was overspending i got a bonus excuse Sorry about that again. Well, this is my bonus. It's ghost face in screen. Which I'm still having trouble posting the screen reaction we did. At least the beginning. Um, my siblings didn't even last 13 minutes. <sighs> That's a long story. Well, the video is too long for me to continue showing anything else at the moment. So I'm going to make a second one. A second part. Definitely, especially that it, it's too long. Oh yeah, like I said, comment below if you're also a Kill Clowns fan. And I would love to know if you're out there. I, and like and these are definitely worth it if you love these kind of things or you like to be sparkling definitely worth it you're probably going to see me a lot in, with this throughout this month it's definitely worth it and don't worry it's washable <laughs> okay see you in the next video bye